Hi, I'm Gabby, a Unity game developer, and over my year on YouTube, I've had hundreds of comments asking me to try Unreal. And because Epic recently came out with Unreal Engine 5, I figured that it's time to try it out. Okay, so I'm not actually going to be making a game. I will however test out the engine, create a little scene thing, and give my thoughts on it. So I started by downloading the engine and the demo project. This whole process took about 3 hours because the program is pretty big, and the demo is 100 gigabytes. What was I thinking? And while we wait for it to install, let me tell you about Core. Core have kindly sponsored this video, and if you haven't heard about them, Core is a free game creation platform, filled with thousands of free high quality art, music and sound assets. If you have ever wanted to get into game development, Core is a great engine to use. You don't need any programming knowledge to get started, but you are still welcome to create your own script and logic. You can build games from scratch or reimagine content made by other creators. When you're ready to publish, it's a click of a button and your game will go live on the Core platform. Currently, Core is hosting the Core Summer Game Jam, with $25,000 in cash prizes. The jam runs from May 27th to June 21st and will have creators competing to make gorgeous arenas, or you can compete to recreate and reimagine real-world or fictional sports games. Core have partnered with Epic Games and are launched in Early Access exclusively in the Epic Games Store. So download Core with your Epic Games account to receive these Epic exclusive character cosmetics and start creating games today. Link in the description. So before creating my own scene, I thought we could look at the demo that I downloaded. First of all, this looks crazy. It looks super detailed and honestly, I'm surprised. Originally, I thought this was receiving too much hype, but looking at it, it deserved all of it. The cool thing that Epic claims about this engine is real-time lighting, and let me tell you, it's a big deal. Normally, developers are made to bake their lights to improve performance, but this means every time you move an asset or change something, you have to rebake them, which can take hours or even days. But supposedly, this engine can render light in real-time, eliminating the need for light baking. As you can see, I can move these rocks and the shadows beneath them get generated, and the lighting around the whole area looks real, which is really awesome. Also, a thing that Epic have introduced are Nanites, it's a new virtualized geometry system that uses an internal mesh format and rendering technology, essentially meaning that you can render pixel scale details and high object counts. This paired with high quality textures will make your scene look super realistic, and it's what makes this possible. I know that might have sounded complicated, because it is. Basically, the scene is made up of millions of small little triangles, resulting in us being able to have so much realism. But let's get the demo out of the way and try this sucker out. Okay, so from the get-go, I can tell the layouts and the color scheme have changed, which I'm on board with. So let's try and create something. I spent about 30 minutes figuring things out because I've never used this engine. I then found my way to the landscaping tool and created a really terrible environment. I then used the Quixel Bridge Asset Manager thing that is integrated into the engine to download a bunch of already made assets. I used the rocks to create a barrier around the level and hide my poorly done landscaping. I then started making this shrine area and to be honest, at this point I had about half an hour before I had to leave, so it didn't end up looking too good. But here is the little scene that I made. Okay, I know it doesn't look good, but to be fair to me, I only had a couple of hours and that included me having to download this engine. But I'm impressed, it was super easy to grab models, place them around and the lighting part was done for me. I will have to say the engine did crash at least 3 times, but that's to be expected considering it's still in early access. So my final thoughts on the engine are, yeah I like it, I think it really ups the level for game development and I can definitely see AAA companies using it to make awesome games. Will I be using it? Maybe from time to time, but I'm sticking with Unity as I personally prefer the engine. Plus, I'm not out here trying to make anything this realistic anyway. Okay guys, so there's a couple final things I want to say. The engine was laggy at times and sometimes it would even freeze. I did have to restart it a couple of times and it did crash as I mentioned. Also, thankfully, I was able to run the demo on a 1070 Ti. Epic recommended a 1080, but because my graphics card isn't too far off, I felt like it was okay. Anyone who has a lower end PC, do turn the settings down when trying to run the demo or don't run it at all because it will make your PC crash and overheat. So guys, that is it for the video. I'll leave links down below to Epic so you guys can check it out yourself. And if you did enjoy this video, liking and subscribing is highly appreciated. 
Also guys, you can currently wish this my game on Steam, so I'll leave links down below to that as well. Finally, don't forget to check out Core, it's completely free, just visit coregames.com or click the link in the description. And thank you so much to my Patreons, Smoking Vita, Tardis IT Guy, Atomic Punk and Manalis. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!